Hello guys, it's Chris. I'm going to build yet another gun and I'm going to experiment a little bit and instead of using one muzzle, I'm going to go ahead and use three. I'm hoping to get thrice the power and damage. So, again, I haven't tried this. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to try to make something uh, kind of, I guess, realistic. And we'll see how it goes. Now, I'm going to use some steel to build the kind of the body of the gun. Let me bring it up a little bit here. Alright, so I also want to put on my mirror for the X coordinate, which is the vertical, so it'll uh, if I put something here, it'll come out over here. And as you can see, it makes that whole connection. And I'm going to go a little bit further here. I want to do something like this. Just make a little bit better connection there, and then I'll throw one here. Oop, hit the right button there. Crap. Alright. So, that's the, basically the body of it uh, to connect the two. And then I'll do something a little bit similar here and then whoop, I don't know where that went right there I'm gonna put little aim markers here don't know why, but I guess we'll just go ahead and pretend that it's actually going to be something uh, pertinent to the gun. Alright. And I'll just bring it down a little bit here and do something right in here if I can see it correctly. Alright. So that'll be really the basis of the weapon. And then we're going to bring this back up. Uh, try it right there. And let's see if we can put those barrels on. Or muzzles, I should say. So we're going to put one there. And then we'll just drop one down on the side there and one down on the side there. That didn't quite connect the way I wanted it to. Try right there. Does that look like it? No, well, it's not getting in far enough. How about that? Oh my god, that's too high craziness. Uh, looks like it should be right there. Well, you know what? Maybe I should move this one out a little bit. And it's kind of difficult to control the camera here. It just wants to do what it wants to do. <laughs> uh, what a pain in the ass. Sometimes this gets to be very annoying.
Wow. It's not going my way here. Not at all. There's probably some way to simplify this, but I can't, uh, I can't for the life of me get it to fit right here. This is somewhat embarrassing, actually. It just wants to stay down there. Doesn't want to come up. Maybe I should bring this up a little bit. Alright, so that's the bottom of it. So much better. It's more better. All right, so let's connect these to the gun itself. Drop down one more. Oh, very sensitive they are. should be all connected and again I'm not sure if that actually has any um, anything any relevance to the to the build Wow final attack 351 that's um that's quite a bit more than than my previous builds so maybe I'm on to something here that would be awesome let me just uh, throw some some meat here and I like I've said before I believe that mass has something to do with um, the damage so throwing a little bit more in certain areas seems to get you more damage or damage modifier Is kind of like a shotgun, I guess. In technical terms, it's got uh, a nice scatter shot going on. Camera controls are very touchy. all kind of how I want it and we just add a little bit more uh, beef to this and 
and there's seems to be no restrictions on how you build things, which is definitely definitely cool. I didn't want to do that. I clicked off the button real quick. So it gives you the freedom to, to do whatever the hell you want. And I think that's pretty damn cool. So that's, uh, I think, I'll just add a few embellishments here. look uh, interesting give it just a little bit more flair I guess but again uh, so the increase went up final attack is is ridiculously high which is awesome Obviously, I'm assuming that this is going to chew up more ammunition uh, because it's using three barrels instead of just one. So I think um, I think I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Looks kind of uh, modern, but kind of contemporary is all the same. So let's just throw some black dye on here because black is cool and it'll give it a little bit more realistic look. And it's cool that the mirror actually picks up uh, both sides of the gun at the same time. So I just want to make sure I get all the spots filled and I believe I do. Here, make sure that's all good. All right. So one thing I do want to add a little bit of, a um, little bit of color. Oh, didn't want to do that. I had the thing set too, too large. Yeah, let's go one unit. So I am happy with that. Let's see if we can actually use this. Gonna go ahead and save. Oh, triple fun gun. All right, saved. I'm not getting any warnings or anything, so let's try to export this. I have enough steel, I have the handles, I have enough muzzles. I do need some black dye, so I can't build it yet. Let's just go over to Gertie, because she's got the dye. My character's starving, so now I'm going to have to walk a little bit. Hey. Let's get some more black dye. So I think we need like ten. See if I have any food. Got some fruit. I'll just eat some fruit for now. All right. Uh, 
so let's try that. Go back here and we'll load. Go to the gun section. We'll load that gun, triple fun gun, and let's go ahead and export it. All right. So that should be in my inventory. Under equipment, uh, triple fun gun. Muzzle count. Oh, so it does take into consideration each muzzle, and each muzzle is actually 95 attack. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So get yeah, let me get out of here. Okay, let me equip some bullets. Do I have enough? Yes. All right. So I'm thinking it's only sh taking one bullet per per shot. So I'm not sure if it's considering each barrel as, you know, one shot or if it's just grouping them all as one shot. Uh, it appears to be the latter rather than the former. Let's see if I can find something. Of course, every time I go hunting, it's at night. I can't see anything. Okay, so here we got something here, I think. Is that just grass? Oh, that's an animal. I don't see that it's actually making making more damage. I do have the right gun on, right? That's the first gun. Uh, I don't see that it's actually any better <laughs> doing it this way with three barrels and I don't know if there's any type of uh, action key that makes all the barrels fire at once I, these guys usually take one shot each to kill according to the specs it says it's got a lot of damage but uh, I'm not seeing that in practice here so again I'm not really sure if I did if it you know according to the build tool it says that it takes into consideration all those things oh it does fire a lot faster though it seems maybe it fires one barrel at a time and that's why because it seems to, to fire a lot faster. That's really fast. That's really fast. And you can see that by, let me just put in my other gun. That was holding the, the trigger down. And that's holding the trigger down as well. So, okay. That's interesting. That takes a lot longer to kill, so I definitely, uh, definitely think that this, yeah, this is definitely a lot better. That's cool, so I guess the more barrels, the faster it fires, so uh, potentially the damage increases uh, threefold because it's firing three times as fast. Now, it seems to be only taking one bullet every time it fires, but uh, you're going to burn through ammunition pretty damn quick with this thing. Uh, now I can not fear the night and actually rule the night. Yeah, we got another spider here. Yeah, that die, man. I got another one down there. Yes, I definitely like. I definitely like. I guess the next thing I'm going to have to do is fight the bears. The bears. Where are you? Trying to harvest the meat on this thing. Mm, spider meat. Very tasty. Well, so that's another successful build, and I am happy with the results. And, you know, I hope you can see that uh, creativity is really, you know, up to you. You have 
uh, complete control over how you do things and, and how you build uh, how you build uh, custom items. And look at the spider just took out that uh, dinosaur thing. And guess what? I'm taking you out. All right. Well, that's a successful build in my book. And I'll uh, continue experimenting. I, I notice that there's not a lot of um, custom builds uh, from the tool on YouTube. So definitely if you want to see something uh, and you want me to take a stab at it, I'd be happy to. Just uh, leave me a comment and I will check it out. I'd also appreciate it if you subscribed and uh, checked out the channel for future uh, videos. And this is Planet Explorers from Pathia. Definitely well worth a look. The Alpha build is free. You can get it from their website, and I'll put the link in the video. And it's it's got a lot of potential. It's definitely, uh, visually, it's it's awesome. And I, even in the Alpha, there's some bugs, obviously, but everything is pretty smooth. I've only had two crashes, and, um, you know, I had a couple quests that didn't work too, uh, too well. The pathfinding sucks on the NPCs, but... That's definitely you know an easy fix once they you know put a lot of effort into the into the real meat and potatoes of it. That's kind of just a a personal thing in, in my my eyes, but I'm sure that'll get fixed. The developers seem to be really excited about the project as well. They got the green light, and I believe they got the Kickstarter as well. So it's just a matter of uh, you know getting the time to put things together and add some more content. And this game is gonna rock because. Uh, just in this alpha build, I, I think it's really, really well done. So, uh, continue checking my YouTube for more content. And like I said, if you need any, me to take a look at anything and, and build something or attempt to build something, I'd be happy to try it and uh, videotape it and then throw it up on YouTube. Thanks a lot.